One of the coolest and most useful ways to customize your pivot table formatting is using conditional formats. So conditional formatting rules can be applied to pivot tables just like they can be applied to normal data ranges. And you can access these formatting rules right in the home menu of your screen. And for those of you who aren't familiar with what conditional formatting is, it's essentially a formatting rule that you can apply that's based on the underlying value of the cell. So for instance, you can use text or value-based formats, and maybe you want to highlight values that are greater than a certain number, or highlight text fields that contain certain text strings. And that's one option. You can also use data bars, which is a really great way to visualize relative values, like the blue bars shown here. You can use color scales, which is an awesome way to make very easy heat maps. Um, icon sets, which are like up and down arrows and check marks and things like that. And then if you want to get really advanced, you can dive into actual formula-based formatting rules, uh, which we won't really cover here. If you are interested, you can check out that section uh, in my Advanced Formulas and Functions course where we dive into that piece. Um, so let's jump back to our pivot table and actually test some of these things out. All right, so back in our IMDB movie database pivot, let's use some conditional formats here in our gross revenue column to really bring this data to life. And to do that, I'm just going to select the entire column of data. I can either drag down or I can use the control shift arrow down shortcut. And once I have that whole field selected in my home menu, I can drill down into the conditional formatting rules. Now I'm going to kind of cruise through this and just really scratch the surface. I do dive into these much, much deeper in my data visualization course. So uh, if you're excited by this and you want to learn a little bit more, recommend checking that out. But for now, I'll give you kind of just a taste of, of how these can be used. Um, so starting with highlight cell rules, this is a great way to highlight based on the cell's value itself. If we were looking at a text field here, you'd see these other options available. So text that contains certain strings uh, or duplicate values. In this case, we're looking at a numerical field. So our options are limited to greater than, less than, between, or equal to. Let's format any values greater than a certain number we can just type that number right here. So I'm going to choose 100 million, and we'll format it with green fill with dark green text. Press OK. Now, any value in that range that I've selected that's over 100 million is highlighted in that green shade. Um, so there you go. I can press Control Z just to undo that. In fact, let me press Control Y to put it back, because the other way to remove formats is to go into conditional formatting manage rules at the bottom. You always have access to this manage rules choice. And when you get in there, it'll list out any formatting rule that's applied to the selected range. So right now, it's just the one that we created. So we can go ahead and either edit that if we want to change the format, for instance, or we can delete it and press apply. And now we're back to a clean slate here. Um, so let's test some of the other ones. We've got top and bottom rules where you can highlight you know, a certain number of items, like top 10, top 5, top percentiles, highlight cells that are either above or below the average for the selection. Really, really useful features here. So let's choose top 10. And instead of 10, I only want to see the top 5 uh, in terms of revenue. And we can press OK. And as we scroll down, we should see five selected cells. So there they are. These are the top 5 revenue-driving titles. I'll press undo to get a clean slate again. And now we've got some cool visual icons, starting with data bars. And this, again, is a really nice way to show relative volume. You have just different colors and styles here. I'll just choose blue bars. And as you can see, these are all pretty low volume here, so the bars are small. And the reason for that, as we go down, is that the US, as you can see here, is a really, really big player in the movie market. So. Uh, really, the number of ticket sales and therefore the number of dollars produced in revenue really dwarfs all other countries in this data set. So that's why we see very small bars up here for most countries. And one thing that's worth pointing out here is that even though I've applied this rule to the specific range from, I believe, C, let's see, C7 through C131 or 171. Uh, even though I've applied it to that specific range, if I were to pull country out, that conditional formatting rule will adapt to this new range. 
So I don't have to clear that rule and set it again. It will kind of morph as my pivot table changes shape, which is really useful. Um, so why don't we select this range that the rule is applied to now and go in and we'll manage our rules and we can select and delete it from here. You can also just choose clear rules from the selected cells. It essentially does the same thing. And let's take a look at a color scale. So again, it gives you some options, but all of these are totally customizable in the manage rules section. So we can choose a scale from green to red where green is high and red is low. We can flip it to red to green. We can use shades of red and blue. Um, let's just do a standard red to green. And this will give us a sense of which genres across the board are driving more revenue than others. So just from looking at this, you can tell that action drives the most and that adventure, comedy, and drama are the other high producing genres. And then let's select this again and we'll do one more example. I'm going to clear this color scale that we just created. And now let's do some icon sets. So this really, it, it does the same thing. It just allows you to apply different types of icons like up and down arrows, stoplight shapes, stars, flags, etc. So let's drop some flags in there, expand the width of the columns so that we can see the numbers. And then with all of these icon sets, when you manage the rules, you can select the rule and edit it in order to determine exactly how you're defining uh, a green flag versus a yellow versus a red. So all these rules are completely customizable. So there you have it. That's a very quick run through of how to apply conditional formatting rules to pivot table fields.